Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have right here with me the new Dacia Duster Celebration 4-wheel drive uh, 1.3 uh, liter engine 150 horsepower just as an information the price I will tell you at the end of this video. So um, I will try to go in detail and show you as many detail as possible interior exterior um, as usually, um, if you are one of my subscribers, you already know uh, how this is working. So let's start with the exterior of the car, guys, and tell you that this car, it is a very practical car with a very, very good price. One of the most cheapest, if not the most cheapest SUV. This Duster was sell in many, many, many um exemplars so they sell a lot of this car many people want to buy it because it's a great car i see some video with these cars guys with this duster off-road and it's doing a great job even the two-wheel drive is doing a great job i will try uh probably to add here some of these images uh i have to tell you it's doing a great great job off-roading and uh, um, I think it's one of the most uh, best buy uh, at the price and at the practicality of the car. It's gorgeous. The car doesn't have so much high quality materials that you find it in Mercedes, in BMW or in other, other premium car company. But you find so much practicality and so, so cheaper price. On it it is an amazing car also the blinkers in the front they are not LED light also in the back you already see it um, here in the back down there you have the fog lamp we have six parking sensors in in the back here I, I think you can see it right here on the bumper uh, here is the fog lamp as well some plastic in the back uh, to protect the the car we have the exhaust pipe down there and also everything is simple, is nothing complicated, just normal plastic. If you scratch the car, it's something happened. There is also the, the reverse light down there. If something happened with the car, it's very cheap to change the bumper, it's very cheap to repair this car. Also, we have a reverse camera, also normal bulb light on the number plate. We have duster writing right here in the back on this um, plastic mat, and then the Dacia logo. Up here, the spoiler is pretty simple, nothing fancy there. We have a wiper on the reverse window and also the springer, water springer up here. Uh, and also the, the LED brake light, it's inside the window. Uh, on the roof, you can add some extra uh, storage space there. Uh, that's also very practical. I like the, the, back of, the back of the duster, it's pretty nice. I like the design. Uh, uh, in the back here, it's, it's pretty nice. I, I really like it. Also, the rims, guys, you can see here, they look pretty nice uh, with the Dacia logo in the middle. And um, if I'm not wrong, those are 18 inch rims. Also, in the back, they chose the same, actually, they are 19 inch rims. Uh, sorry, um, 19 inch rims. In the front, we have brake discs, but in the back, as you see, we have the drum. Uh, the drum Renault use it also on the Renault Clio, um, and also if I remember well on the new Captur. I don't know. I have to check out the other video. Uh, if you didn't see the review with the new Renault Captur, check out on my channel. Anyway, drum brakes in the back. In the front we have normal brake discs. The windows are pretty simple. Uh, they are integrated in the paint of the car right there. But big windows, you should have a good visibility. Uh, also on the side as well, pretty simple. Then uh, here we have the paint between the windows. It's not like another car, just windows close to another. Here we have some nice design uh, because this car is celebration. They add some extra um, little stuff uh, here and there. Here we have also the the mirror, pretty big mirror. So you should have a great great visibility also the car have blind spot technology i think you can see it in the corner there i'm not sure if the car doesn't want to zoom there but you have this blind spot technology right there in the corner uh, of the mirror so yeah anyway the mirror it's it's nice it has a nice design it's black glossy also 
I just want to say that the car have 360 degrees cameras. In this price, you will see at the end the price, it's amazing. And this car have parking sensors in the front, parking sensors in the back, 360 degrees cameras, guys. So you have cameras also in the mirrors. Uh, and I will show you later when we go inside. In the front here, we have a big air intakes grill down here with some plastic gray. Also, the, the fog lamps are normal bulb lights, so we don't have any LED light in the front. There is the radiator where the air come inside there. Cool down the engine a little bit. Uh, going up a little bit here, we have the, the camera, the front camera, as I told you before. And um, yeah, the Dacia logo in the middle. Uh, and also the grill, it looks pretty um, standard on the duster. Also the light, you already see the daylight, it's open up. It's, it's open right now. The hood has some nice, interesting uh, lines there on the hood. And actually this car, it's a really, if you need a cheap SUV, and you don't want to care too much about you scratch the car or something like that. This is the perfect car, guys, for you. I have to tell you, it is a really, really great, great car. Also, we have automatic folding um, front here. And here is the engine. If the engine tells you something, um, I just want to show you the battery there, the air filter, and then the engine. Also, here we have the handle. The handle is also pretty classic. Uh, we find it on the Dacia, also the other Dacia uh, have the same handle. As I told you, no LED in the front, it's just the daylight, it's LED light. But the normal um, high beam, low beam, it's normal light. So as I told you, a practical SUV, you need a car to go off-road um, and you want a cheap, this is the perfect car. We will go in the interior and you will see that the, the duster have plenty space in the interior here. Uh, the big entrance in the car, also a flat entrance. That's something that I like very much, that you have a flat entrance. Uh, you have some plastic and everything is flat, so you can put your stuff there very, very easily. Uh, we, here you have a protection for the trunk. You can take it out very easily. Here we have some extra stuff that come with the car. Uh, when you buy it as new, then you have a light here in the left side, also some space in the left side right here, and some hooks here left and right um, in the corners as well. We have a 12 volt port, I will show you it's up a little bit upper there. Also in the trunk, you have a 12 volt port here. We have a spare tire and plenty of space on the side. Uh, you can see there in the left in the right you can also take out this spare tire if you want to put a repair kit and then you have plenty of space under here if you drive with the car only on on the highway or on the good roads uh, and you don't uh, care about the spare tire you can change it here is the trunk without this protection and you can see immediately uh, the real space here it's huge it's a really big trunk i'm really impressed to see that that Actually, this car have have a huge trunk, really, really huge. Um, really impressed with the with the trunk. You can even put many big items here. Now you can see it with the folding seats down right now. It's almost a flat floor there. You can even sleep in this car. Such a such a long uh, place here. So in my opinion, it is super practical look how much space you have here in the back really really impressive also from the side you have a big entrance in the car right here really big uh, and also you can see the way the seats are down there also pretty pretty good yeah so you can make a, an idea about the space down here on the legs you still have space to put something there also the bump in the middle there is not so big so for the passengers that stay in the middle it's not so bad here we have a window from one pieces uh, you can fold it all the way down uh, other than that all over the, the doors it's plastic almost all over the handle here it's also even here it's plastic so you don't find uh, soft materials here but as i told you guys also we have a speaker here and storage space is pretty good for the back door uh, as I told you guys, don't expect to find 
uh, on the doors or too much but actually here we have soft leather and storage space in the middle here we have uh, just two cup holders no vents no usb port nothing um there the bump it's quite small and i like that um something that impressed me about this celebration duster is the seat the leather seat we have leather full leather seats here and i never see that on the duster i see the duster only with the normal fabric material seat but look at the finishing guys look at those seats they are fantastic the quality is great you have isofix they look great they are made from leather and even little little uh, holes there so the quality is super good and also something that really impressed me is the 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 comfort on those seats it's awesome so they are very comfortable in the same time too bad that you don't have uh, armrest or you cannot open fold down only the middle part uh, but other than that wow great big step forward you you need a practical car and leather it's practical because you can wash it very easy um and um all the the doors are plastic but uh you can you can wash it really easy and also the leather the space it's fantastic on the knees i almost stretch my legs there also on my head huge huge space guys so practicality great the seats are great very comfortable visibility on the windows pretty good not the best but pretty good you also have in the back there another window a handle up here the quality on the roof yeah it's not the best but it's okay also a normal light here no led just a normal light and then yeah let's go in the middle i go in the middle very easily because i don't have a big bump i can stay with my legs together as well so you can see plenty of knee room right here a lot of space on my legs a lot of space on my head right here plenty plenty of space in the left in the right you have a lot of space as well for free people so as i told you very practical it was really impressed me really really impressed me in the front guys right now you can see the dashboard it's also pretty simple but in the same time it has a nice interesting uh, design kind of unique uh, design so uh, the steering wheel it's nice um, and yeah we will go there in the moment and i will show you all the detail but first time the door we have one window in the front good visibility also on the doors right here you can see a little better quality in the front even if up here we have plastic when we go down here we have leather soft material quite impressive uh, the handle and down there uh, we have as well leather you can see here the blue stitches pretty awesome and here we have leather amazing amazing quality also some blue insertion here on the handle and the, the buttons electric windows we have electric windows and also the lock electric windows some storage space and a speaker in the door so the quality in the front much better than in the back much much better so it is impressive uh, also i like the entrance in the car it's quite flat it's pretty awesome uh, the way they do it leather seats in the front as well here you open the the tank and here we have manual adjustable seats in the front here we have the heated seat in the front so the the, the, the seats are also heated in the front great quality seats and very very comfortable i have to tell you i'm impressed they blow my mind those um, seats um, and in this price of the car you will see it at the end of this video the price it is amazing for what this car can offer um, and i also add i will add some images for you guys this car it will blow your mind it can do off-road uh, amazing amazing off-road at the end of this video guys i will add those images with off-roading um, situation and this car even a two wheel drive four wheel drive it's fantastic so stay until the end of this video to see uh, the off-road uh, capacity of this uh, duster so uh, there you see you have plastic all over the dash so no soft material on the dashboard this is something that you have to take in consideration but i don't know if you care too much um, 
if you take this car for practicality, a hand uh, armrest, cup holders, manually handbrake as well here. Also here you have the buttons for the cruise control, kind of you can activate it from here. And then you have the stick for locking the four wheel drive, two wheel drive and auto the way you want to choice that. So anyway, here's the stick for changing the gear six gear um right here on this car the engine has six gear here on the side you have some chrome design um that look nice really really, really nice here's the key i think you already know it the renault have the same key same design key um yeah anyway in the front two cup holders some space there i really like those seats i sit on them and i feel really comfortable here uh anyway here we have a 12 volt port, no USB again. I wish they they will add some USB port. I think many people need it these days. Something that I love about the car is again this new climatic system that you find it on the new Renault. Renault Captur have the same, the Clio and all that new Renault come with this amazing climatic system. The quality is awesome. The way it looks, it looks fantastic and I really like um, the way it looks and the way it feels. How easy it is to set up all that settings. Here are the button for the overall traction control, echo mode. You can go in echo mode. You can see there on the cockpit. Uh, then blinkers lock the car, parking sensors. Here we have the camera and also, um, yeah, you can see when you touch the button for the camera, as I promised you before, you have 360 degrees camera around the car so you can see on every corner um, the cameras so it's pretty amazing to have uh, on this duster in the same price all that feature is it's quite impressive really for me it was impressive here in the middle you have a multimedia system uh, a screen pretty big it's good visibility from the driver point of view um, and here you have the cockpit also great visibility uh, here we have plastic everywhere, as I told you before, don't expect to have soft material on the dash. Some storage space, even up here you can put your phone or something. Uh, that's again pretty cool. Also the vents, they look nice. We have two speakers on the dashboard there. Um, yeah, also um, the visibility around the car, it is good. It's pretty good, very good visibility. I like the mirror, I like the way it is there because the car ha doesn't have that camera for reading the traffic sign and lane assist. You can make that mirror there. So, uh, good visibility in the back as well. I like the way it looks. Also, up here we have a microphone, some information about uh, the airbag. Here we have normal bulb light, you can see there, uh, and the mirror without light there. Uh, and yeah, what can I say? Uh, pretty simple. So some stuff are pretty simple. Some stuff are pretty cool. Uh, a lot of space here in the glow box as well. You have also a light there, a normal bulb light, of course. And um, yeah, uh, what can I show you now? I think uh, the steering wheel, guys, it look nice. I like the steering wheel. It's pretty nice. Uh, it has a nice design. The Dacia logo. It's pretty cool. Here you have the controllers for the cruise control, and here we have some controllers for the uh, telephone. And also here behind you have the telephone. You have the the sound and all that uh, controllers there. Start stop engine button right there uh, on the side, and also the multimedia system. Let me show you a little bit. It's very simple. It's nothing complicated, don't expect to find something complicated. You have the radio, you have the media right here, you have um, a few, few uh, menu buttons. Here you have the telephone, here you have a car information. Here you can find the echo drive mode, so you can choose how you like to it give you some information about how to drive echo and how you did you drive. You have the consumption here. Then you have information here and how to drive, how to drive economical. So it's pretty cool. I have also the off-road information, uh, north, south, east, and uh, where the car is standing there. So anyway, um, yeah, 
let me adjust a little bit the camera because the focus is not so good right now also you have the navigation here guys it's not as good as the premium cars but it is perfect it's do his job perfectly to do uh, the thing that they should, should do so you can change different settings there um, and you can see it has a little bit of lag but you can do your job pretty pretty well with it and yeah in my opinion it is perfect for for this car and for uh, what this car can offer in the price it's, it's amazing that it also have a navigation right there so anyway um yeah other than navigation guys you still have um here are the settings where you can change different settings inside the car and um also the the map settings and the uh, speak the watch the hour the um, yeah anyway it's not so complicated it's just pretty simple it's just like that now the cockpit is also very simple nothing fancy there just see the things that you should see so no digital display it's just speedometer thermometer in the left side and then in the middle you have all that information about the consumption and stuff that you can change it from the steering wheel right here yeah um anyway guys uh i guess that was my review with the new dacia duster i hope you enjoy it guys i hope it was helpful for you now at the end i will show you also the price and all that information if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos uh, also at the end of this video i will show you that videos with duster off-road i hope you'll enjoy it after the price i will show you that also guys here are the information about the car and the price 23,000 francs around 20,000 euro it's an amazing price for this off-road car